So I did a big thing today. Mm -hmm. I challenged myself to go to the grocery store and only get things for me. <laughs> but listen, that was hard. I was thinking about all my kids. I was thinking about my husband, but I succeeded. I got everything for me. What you will see in these here bags is for me. Mind you, this is a Whole Foods haul. I repeat, this is a Whole Foods haul. Um, I woke up this morning and I said, I've got to do things different because I'm tired of feeling like this. I went to bed and I, I felt inflammation from the inside out. It was almost like pain was seeping through my pores. And I'm like, mm -mm, I've got to do better. I've got to eat better. So took myself a little field trip to Whole Foods. It was the experience. I love Whole Foods. I just like being in there. It's it's a, it's like Target or Publix or, or um, Starbucks. Those are all my favorite field trips. Target, if you love Target, you, you understand. Um, back up out my video. This is about me. This is for me, not about you. All right. So, first things first. I actually got this um, bundle of peaches because I wanted to. I actually had already gone through the, conve the conveyor belt. I didn't go through the conveyor belt. I had already gone through the checkout line, got my groceries, packed them in the car when I, I realized that I wanted some peaches. And I just went back in there and got me some because I wanted to. Um, but let's get into these bags, y'all. It's the unbagging for me. Uh, I love coffee. If you don't know me, if you do know me, you know I love coffee, but I love coffee. Um, and I have been doing some research, uh, about coffee alternatives that are healthier. Um, in all actuality, coffee is not unhealthy. It's what we put in it that makes it not but um, there's a tea called Yerba Mate. Um, they're different brands, but I saw this here, Yerba Mate, and it was sparkling Yerba Mate. So it's gonna give me a soda vibe, and it's gonna be healthy and give me a lot of antioxidants and give me a boost of energy. Let's go. So I got raspberry. I got two of those. And then, um, here's the other one. You need to get out of my video, ma'am. It, it's all about me right now. Okay. And I got this peach yerba mate, and it's also sparkling. But then I was like, your girl gonna need some breakfast, so let's go ahead and get some organic old-fashioned oats. I love a good oatmeal. My mama put me on game when I was like two. She made it a certain kind of way. Buttery, salty, but sweet at the mommy? same time. Um, but then I saw these. These look like they was about that life and I was like, I need to have you in my life. And they are apple cider vinegar, single sips, cranberry, hibiscus. Sounds sounds healthy, right? Sounds delicious. Um, they're an energizing daily tonic with monk fruit blends. Um, and you just add water. So it's just, you just kind of shake it up in some water. Um, but what I really liked about it was the ingredients. It's organic vinegar, Organic apple cider vinegar, organic hibiscus extract, organic agave, organic cranberry, organic vanilla flavors, citric acid, and organic monk fruit. And as you could hear, I was able to read everything in the ingredients. So, winner, right? Um, I found these. These are tuna, but they're fish free. So, they're vegan, they're plant based tuna. I've seen Tabitha Brown. Um, talking about vegan tuna, um, she usually uses like chickpeas though, but I've also seen Sarah Jakes Roberts on Woman Evolve TV. She had like a, a, a cooking special where she just cooked straight vegan. Um, she had a friend of hers and they, they did that and she couldn't believe that some of the food was vegan and it, that it would actually taste good. So I was like, let me try this. And if I want to, I can, um, share with my youngest daughter who is vegan um, by force, not by choice. She's allergic to chicken and beef and tree nuts and peanuts and milk and all the ting. Okay, so we got that those bags out of the way. This, this right here, 
Blackberries are like my favorite fruit in this season. I have grown to love them. I used to hate them as a child because the ones that I was eating were bitter and they taste disgusting. Blackberries that are not sweet don't taste good. Um, I got this kind of spaghetti because it looked fancy. No, no real reason. I'm going to make a, a creamy vegan sauce. I'm not vegan, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing because uh, dairy, cow milk dairy uh, disturbs my, my being sometimes. And I've been eating a lot of cow milk, um, eating a lot of ice cream, a lot of butter, a lot of milk. Um, and I got a bag back off of it. But um, I'm going to make like a cream, a creamy, cheesy vegan sauce with um, some tomato and bell pepper. Um, but I'm going to put shrimp in that spaghetti, so that's going to be a pasta dish. Um, I got these these here chocolate chips these are enjoy life they are vegan chocolate chips they are allergy friendly they are without the the main allergens such as um they're free from wheat peanuts tree nuts dairy uh casein soy eggs sesame sulfates lupin mustard fish shellfish and something i don't know how to pronounce um i'm gonna need you to let me finish my video because it's all about me right now thanks all right and um i got uh some blueberries Remember, all this is for me. This is this is my haul. This is not for my family. This is for me. Um, got some vegan butter. This is my favorite uh, type, Earth Balance. Um, some of the other vegan butters are made from tree nuts. Can't do tree nuts. I'm uh, magically allergic to tree nuts and peanuts and I'm coconut. Girl, this ain't about you. This is about me right now. Um, and so I got some unsalted kind um, of this butter as well, too. Bake if I want to. If I want to, because I can. All right. Um, next, I got some shredded um, or some shaved Brussels sprouts for me. I've got uh, I got a bell pepper. It's just a green bell pepper. It's organic. I almost didn't get it because I'm like this is a a lit pricey, but I'm gonna get it because I want to. Um, I've got some seven grain and lentil blend. Um, and so this has, this is a, a ready to heat blend, long grain, white, 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 blah, blah. long grain, white rice, wheat berries, um, white and red quinoa, red and wild rice, bulgur wheat and not booger, bulgur. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And green lentils with extra virgin olive oil and sea salt. Um, I got me some sweet potatoes. Love a roasted sweet potato. Listen, um, and I've got these uh, dark chocolate espresso beans because I want to. Um, I love this um, brand, Ocean's Halo. It's a, um, they have like soy free soy sauces. And so that's what I got. And then I got this um, vegan mayo. If I follow your heart. Um, it's just soy free. It's without eggs. So, um, not that I'm against eggs. It's just because I wanted to get it. Um, I got some whipped cream, some whipped cream, some whipped cream. Um, it's oat based whipping topping for my coffee. Cause I'm still going to drink my coffee, but I'm trying to make my coffee just as elaborate and beautiful as if I was going to the Starbucks. But here in Greenville, South Carolina, there's a spot called Liquid Highway. It'll change your life. I mean, the coffee hits different. You just got to be there. Um, you got to just go there. And I got I got two creeping cream. Um, nutritional yeast makes um, non-dairy, like vegan cheesy options, makes it more cheesier. I'm not vegan, okay? I am not vegan. However, I like plant-based alternatives. Um, one of my favorite probiotic drinks, kombucha. I love this brand with this flavor in particular, um, tart cherry. I also got another kombucha. Um, it is another brand, but to me, these two brands, um, kind of counter each other. So, um, this is the, um, JT's, uh, brand and this is, uh, Lavender Love. So this particular kombucha has more caffeine in it. 
uh, a lot of green tea, so it gives you a pep in your step. But this one right here, this one right here though, right here, it it kind of gives you that that chill vibe, like like a glass of wine kind of thing without uh, drinking wine. It kind of is like has a naturally occurring alcohol in it. That's it. That's all. That is my grocery haul for myself. Who did I get these things for? Me. I'm excited. I have a plan um, for making specific meals for myself. I told you guys about the pasta. I'm going to make, I'm going to have oatmeal in the mornings. And I got those peaches to eat beside the oatmeal. Um, and then the berries are just for my snacks. The plant-based tuna is for my lunches, like a uh, uh, tuna sandwich. Uh, I have some sourdough bread. I've got some Roma tomatoes, some avocado. Um, I'll dress that up with. And then I have um, my um, my Brussels sprouts and my um, whatever I just, what this called? Uh, you can see it. You can read it. That. And these Shea Brussels sprouts. Um, along with those sweet potatoes are another separate meal so they can serve as a breakfast, not a breakfast, a lunch order. And it could be a breakfast if I want it to be, but yeah, I feel accomplished. I, you guys don't understand how big of a deal it is for me to do something specifically for me without having anybody else in mind. And I did it and I did it well and I made healthy, smart choices and I'm excited to prep the mess out of these. Thank you for listening. Make sure you check out my blog, www.brittanyelizabeth.me. That is www.brittanyelizabeth.me. I also have a podcast on Spotify, um, Google Podcasts, Anchor, um, and it's called The Brittany Elizabeth Show. I'll make sure to link all those things below in the description. Until next time, I don't know when next time going to be, but come see me. Come see me. You can see me. You don't have to see me here. You can see me over on my blog. Or you can see me on social or my podcast. But come see me. All right. What have you done for you that was about you only? That you didn't have anybody else in mind but just you? Let me know in the comments. Talk to you later.